Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Factorio, and as you can remember, we were just trying to figure out why all of this stuff doesn't work as it's supposed to. Well, I figured that we should focus more on doing the power at nighttime, so what I've gone ahead and done is gathered up all of the acclimators, which are right here, accumulators, I don't know why I called them acclimators, sue me, and... We're going to place them down. Now, I don't remember where exactly I was going to place them down at. I think I was going to place them down more over towards the bottom over here. I'm just kind of zoomed out so I can get a more general area. Because I know down here, and like right down here would be perfect for all of them. Oh, I wanted to get the substations. That's why I didn't place them right away. Because I know that the substations uh, really make them uniform and nice and stuff. But we can always update them later. So I'm going to start putting them down. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to put them... I'll probably put them way down here. Just so they're out of the way. And we'll make some nice large areas. So we'll start with our medium electrical poles, which we're going to need a bunch more of, which we need some copper plate. So I'll have to go back up and get some copper plate before we start. Eh, let's just place them down and we'll place down what we got. So right now we've got that, which we can see... We kind of have to offset it at one point or another. Well, actually, we should just make an area where we can walk in the center. Kind of like that. And we'll do it like this. And then we'll also do it like that. And then we'll make a walking point in the center. And then we'll spread this one out as far as we can. And we'll do the same thing. Oh, no, I guess we got to put it one more down so we make a walking point in the center. Just like that. Ah, nope, that's off. There we go. Just like that. And we'll do the these type of builds across, and we'll do them this way as well. So it should be the same distance. Just like that. And we'll do one down here. There we go. And then these should fit the same way. And then this is going to get off a little bit. But that's fine. No harm, no foul. And we're out of them. So now we can take them and connect them back up to the top, which we're going to need some more copper. So we'll go back up here and grab some. And we're definitely going to need more copper to make more batteries. So we have to do that, too. How's our oil doing? It doesn't look like it's doing anything. Okay, so... Our oil is also out. Our oil is powering our plastics, which our plastics look like they're out as well. I mean, it's getting kind of out, so we'll make a couple of the areas to store them, which would be... Uh, oh, we can make a roboport. That's pretty cool. We can make those flying robot frame. We could also start to try and make those, too. Which we need electric engines, and those have to be made with engines and lubricant. Oh, so much work. Ah. Okay, let's make two of those for right now. And it's starting to become nighttime again. And we're not going to have nearly enough power in order to continue on with this. We should upgrade this here to make this go faster while we're here. And we can temporarily gather some of this copper so that way we can have it just like that. And we'll upgrade this while we're here. So that way this can move faster. And that's pointing down. Yes, it is. There we go. And then to the right. And then straight across. Just like that. There we go. That'll move way faster. And then this will move way faster as well. I place all this. There we go. And then it's going to be a little slow at this intersection here. That should be fine. There we go. Because we're going to have to up the power anyway. Because going down to here is fine because it's just making solar panels, which we can place more of. So we'll go add some more of the... Oh, we did need the copper for... These. Actually, make uh, five of these and a couple of these. Because those big poles will be able to carry it all the way down there. So, first, we'll just drop off 
these two storage tanks so we can get to producing some of the oil again. So we'll add these on the end. One right there, one right there. That should go down, which should start this up back again. Yes, it does. Cool. And then we'll take our big giant poles and go all the way down here and try and run them back up. So we'll go right to here where it'll connect as far away as it will. Oh, not close enough to connect it. There we go. And we'll run them as far as we can, which it looks like about there. And we'll run it a little further, right to about as far as we can there. We could probably connect it up close to these oil refineries, which would be fine with me. That's pretty darn close, and that's it. So if we just run one right here, we should be able to reach it. All right, so now those should power up. These steam engines should run for a little bit longer, and we'll power up those accumulators. So we'll just try and get power balance restored. I think we've, we're kind of upping, so if we imagine a graph of like certain things like production, power, things, and all that kind of stuff, we're like upping one too high, and then we're not accounting for others in order to upgrade them. And that's why we're kind of getting out of whack here. So we still have 23 more of those, because we made some more of those. This is out of iron plates, which we have a little bit extra. This is out of everything. That's, I don't care about that. Uh, we have our giant solar panel plant up here, which have we finished? I'm not even going to go back to the top. I'm just going to start a new row of three and work my way back up to the top. That way we can fill those accumulators as fast as possible. Oh, darn. So I want to get those done and built, trying to keep power up. And then we're going to get Blue Science Pack going, because we finally made Smart Inserters, and I think that was one of the last things that we needed. Oh, what a jerk. That was one of the last things I think we needed in order to get that working. So we'll just... Oh, I did that. Oh, okay, it just it delayed. That's right. Why, I'm not sure, but it works. And that one does not work, and then we'll have to... Just put it in the middle. Oh, we'll do a mini one because we'll match up what we have on the other side. Oh no, it's off. There we go. And these bottom ones. I forgot about the bottom ones. There we go. Now those are all connected up. And the accumulators should be being powered. Unless they're already charged up. Which I'm thinking they might be already charged up, which would be good. Uh, how are we doing on copper? Copper is getting a little bit lacking which is kind of upsetting. So there's that. Yeah, it's kind of getting a little lacking, it looks like. We might have to up copper for sure. That would be... Well, I mean, it's expected. So these are all turned off. So I'm thinking we could get rid of this and change it. And we can finally expand downward. But I'm going to place more of these down here and see how quickly they charge up. We're still going to need a whole bunch more to power everything that we need. We definitely need a car or a tank or something eventually. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, these are getting full uber quick. There we go. And then we'll skip one. Just like that. And we'll place one down here. And then eventually once we get substations we can re-edit all this. And then skip one down. Darn. And we have one left. There we go. Those are getting powered up. And I'm sure if we click this, we can see... Yeah. I mean, those are kind of running. But the steam engines will keep us running at night, at least for the most part. We're going to watch it tonight. And we'll see how well we get by. Because now that the... Oil production areas are running again. We're going to have to watch that because that means our power has gone up because now these are all running again and all that kind of stuff. We could up copper for right now. We've got this flowing, so that means this will back up quite nicely. Is that all we need for blue science pack then? Are we, are we good? 
Batteries, advanced circuits, yes, we did make everything. Steel plates can be ran somewhere else. So let's just run some of this stuff. And I know we want to go up this way. Oh, I got really confused there. Let's turn here. And we will turn here. And then we'll turn here. Not going to worry about underground stuff. And we'll take some of these transport belts. So we have some. And where are we going to make blue science pack? Well, I'm thinking we just make it down here. Or actually right here would be okay. Because we're going to get rid of some of the stuff. So making it right there wouldn't be bad. Because then we could bring the batteries down from all the way over there. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's going to be an... And the advanced circuits from all the way up there. <laughs> well, no better time than... Or are we just going to box it? And I'm just going to carry them down. I think I'm just going to box it and carry them down. I think that would be the better idea. So let's make a box at the end of them and we'll carry them down. Because the steel plates we can easily carry for blue science pack. And then it'll make it at its own discretion. So let's cancel this. Right click. There we go. We'll cancel this all. And we'll make it just go into a box. Okay, how is our power doing? Uh, come on, click it. Alright, so our... These are running. But we're producing enough. and But it's going down super quick. But it looks like our power is working okay. And nothing's doing too terribly. And now that we have this running again... Alright, so we'll do a chest, which we don't even have a chest. We just make a steel chest, because why not? And we'll make a inserter like that. Right there. Power it up, and we'll make sure... How are we looking on power? Okay, so now the solar panels kick in. So right now, the steam needs to stay temporarily because it's just barely getting to the point. Okay, so now we're having continuous power overnight, which is great. So now we can really see where we're... All right, so that's all full, which is good. Iron is finally full. Copper, on the other hand, needs to have a an upgrade in mining. So, upgraded mining. We'll add a couple more. And we'll get that sped up real quick. I just wanted to get rid of that tree. I didn't like it there. We'll do more in the back because we'll keep the straight line going. So, we'll do a couple more in the back. We'll just get rid of all of these trees. Do we even have any mines stuff? Nope, we can't make it because we're out of iron plates. Good thing we have a crap ton of iron plates. Look at all these we have now. Yeah. Grab those all. We can make two. Because now we're out of electronic circuits. <laughs> and good thing there's a bunch up here. Oh, I'm out of the way, trees. And yeah, grab that. What are we out of here? Oh, copper wire. And we didn't really finish this up either. Let's make that fast. Alright, two more is probably not enough. So I'm going to try and make one more. Oh, now we're out of iron plates already? Man. We run out super quick. And then we'll do one back here. We'll do a small little one. Oh, we could put it here, but the tree's in the way. There we go. And we'll do another one. We'll do it right there. We'll make a belt going out to here. All right, so that's three added on. That should be semi-decent. Iron is currently stacked to the max. Now it's just copper getting needs to get stacked to the max. So we'll up this speed here. And we may have to add a second line of them. Only because we kind of 
screwed up here with putting this here. But we could always move this up. So I don't see an issue with... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't see an issue with moving this. We could just change it to this way. Like that. That's not going to matter, right? Oh, shoot. Yeah, that is going to matter. Stop. Hang on. Hang on. Where is copper going here? Um. Yeah, it needs to stay on the left side. So how do I make it stay on the left side? Crap. How did I make it stay on the left side before? There we go. That's way faster. Uh, that should stay on the left, no matter what. That should matter. That should stay on left side. Because it's going from left to left. So that should be fine. We're good. That's all good. And we'll make that... Oh, darn. There we go. I just want to speed that up down to there. Yeah, see, no, it's going on both sides, which I don't want on both sides. Now it's going on one side. Maybe it was just hung up from before. Because now it seems to be working okay and staying on one side. No, see, it's going on the other side. Why is it going on the other side? Stay on that side. All right, I'll watch that and make sure it doesn't go on the other side. Okay, now iron is stacking on that side. So we can get electric furnaces again. Which are eluding me where they are. Here they are. One, two, three, four. Four is good. We'll go back in. And we'll make this a little wider. We have two now. So one, two, three, four. So one... One, two, three, four. So out to there. Here's two. And we're going to make it go out. So one there, 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 and there. Push that one out. And we'll get some poles, which we should have some copper still in our inventory. Skip here. Perfect. Now we should push that production a little higher. And that should go a little faster for copper. And we'll take some of the extras that come off the edge and put them into a chest. If we have the space, I'll use a slow inserter just so that way it won't go as fast. And we'll do that. And the small power line right there. That way it'll just slowly gather. Okay, so we have batteries being made. Those are being stored in a chest. These are being stored in a chest. Batteries, which need copper and iron plates to be continued made. We need to get some more of these, so we'll grab these. There's 27 more. Now we're out of batteries because we're out of copper iron plate. So copper iron plate needs to be filled up again. How is our production of uh, 640? So still equal and consumption of blue is still kind of going here and there but now we should be playing catch up and getting it down I'll place these accumulators down here because look at all this iron now stuck now these cir green circuits are coming down and we're just kind of stopping there these are running again how are these running Solar panels are kicking back on, and accumulators are just barely keeping alive. So we're definitely going to need more. More of these. So now they should be charging back up. So we're barely making it through the night with the amount that we have. Oh, nope, they're out of power completely. They're out of juice! So we still need the steam engines to keep it going. Oh man, that's really weird. Go. Oh, darn. And skip. 
Perfect. And where are our big poles? Connect one there. There. And how's that going to charge up? It's charging up slowly. We're still using our steam engines to charge them up. Once we get more and more, it's a slow process building back up to where we should be. Slow process, but it should work. We are almost full on the heavy oil and that. We should make lubricant, which lubricant is made with heavy oil, so we could waste some of the heavy oil and just make some in order to get the engines going, to get robots going. So we could actually make it like over here. I wouldn't mind doing that. Or make it like down here. We just make a little setup of engines. Don't really need to make it too big. Because we just need some lubricant going in. So we can make a cool little... Come on, cut the tree. There we go. Cut that one. And then we'll just make a chemical plant real quick. Somewhere. Where's the chemical plant? Where's the chemical plant? There it is. Iron gear wheels. Because we're out of iron again. Oh, joy. All right, iron. Where are you at? There's a bunch down here. Which is good. And some iron gear wheels are chilling here. That's going at a fine pace. Is there any iron sitting anywhere? There's some sitting here. Which I could take all this. I could take some of that. Steel is not being made. Which that's why iron's going way up, because steel is no longer being made. We have 55 solar panels. This is still weirdly going on the one side. Um, I'm looking at my inventory for coal, which I gotta run back down here to grab some coal. I'll set that steel going up again, because we need steel. Okay, 250, which is fine. So that'll start loading that up again. Because I want to make these again to get steel in abundance for the blue science packs. So there's that. I don't need this stone in my inventory. Or all of these transport belts. So down by where we have our temporary setup, I will make a chest chill that down here and we'll store all of this in there and the stone and the wood good enough and we can make some more batteries while we wait because we have some iron and copper uh, this is out of plates so the sulfuric acids kind of going down but that's fine so copper iron iron Copper iron should be okay. Grab eight more of those as temporary, but let's make some... We're just branching off into too many things at once because <laughs> I can't focus on just doing one thing at a time. It's all kind of have to like, oh, okay, let's do this. Oh, let's go do this. Oh, let's go do this. <laughs> How are our activators doing? Uh, looks like they're all powered up and steam has turned off, which is good. So we can go back down over here. And we could, did we not even get what we needed to get in order to make chemical plants? No, we did. We're good. We'll make uh, two. Why not? We'll make two. And we'll just put them down here. I'll wait for those to be made. Cut some more of these trees up. And we'll make some lubricant to be stored. And we're making the other one. These are going to have to be powered as well, which is fine big deal. Alright, those are now ready to go. So we'll put them yeah, just right here and right here. We'll make some space. Okay, so we need just heavy oil. I can do that. That's fine with me. Actually, I want to put it uh, there. Because that way we can put this here and there. And pipe pipe. And all we have to do is power this up, which won't be too difficult. We'll just run some power straight from here. And now that'll make some lubricant. Alright. So lubricant is used in making the electric engines. And in order to make the regular engines, we'd have to get stuff 
pushed way down. So we can make some science packs while we're here, which would be pretty cool. Let's just make a couple since we have some batteries in our inventory. We'll just make a couple of them. So engine unit, and electric engine unit requires that. So this is definitely where we need these flying robot frames. So we just need to gather a couple. But the lubricant's going to be kind of tough. So we're going to have to put steel, pipe, and iron into our own thing here. So can we make engines with our hand? Uh, no, it can't be crafted in hand. So I have to take some of that steel, iron, and pipe and make that. So we can get something up for that. Let's grab the accumulators while we're down here. We made eight of them. Might as well put them down here. It doesn't hurt to put them down. It's so cool looking. It's so scary too. Like, can you imagine just touching that? You are dead if you touch it. Like, extremely dead. There we go. Now we have the eight, and there's not enough power. Nope. And we're almost out. Oh man. And. That's it. Poof. No more. Drops like a rock. And then we have to wait for the sun to come back up. Wow, so we still need more of these accumulators and these solar panels. Which we have 50, so we should actually go place them down to produce more power. So we'll just go back over here. So our steam engines are still used for backup. I wish I could cross lakes. I'd really like to cross lake. Can I not get through these trees? Oh, come on. Just let me go through. There we go. We need a car. Or a tank. I want to build a tank. How far am I off from building a tank? I just need engine units. Engine units have to be done in a... In a assembly machine. Curse the assembly machine. So we'll just start and go back up. We've made a couple blue science packs. So what could we temporarily research... Definitely this. We definitely want substations. That's our next thing. Uh, we don't need that. I'm just looking temporarily. We could get the specialized refineries. Oh, that'd be way cool. Because that's only cost one. We could do that right away. Didn't even think about that. That'd be sweet. Alright, after we place these... I think that'll be it for this episode. Next time, we're going to try and just carry on more. Make things work smoothly again so we don't have to worry about playing catch-up with other stuff. So that's my goal, is to continue doing all that. And we still have one more. There we go. So then we'll put these up here. And it should auto-connect. Yep, just auto-connects really at the last moment. And I don't get it. Because it gets, it almost seems like it gets, yeah, see, then eventually it didn't do it. It's funny. All right, there we go. These are all connected up, so those should, yeah, the steam should go way down. The acclimators, accumulators are full. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that. There we go. All right. That'll be it for this episode. If you have any comments on what maybe we should super specifically focus work on, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and that will be it for me. I'll see you guys on the next one.